Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be for J3B's Digging Canada's uh, fundraiser auction. I just want to say thank you very much to uh, some of my uh, donators again. They're wonderful people. They donate all the time. Very generous. I can't thank them enough. Uh, first of all, is J3B donated a silver round himself. And then uh, Digging with Deej, of course, and uh, Flashing Your Pan, John Savage, CT Relic Digger, Drum and Detect, Nova Stacker, Wild Men's Lodge, Rust Belt Relic Rust Rescue, MD Melbourne, um, Finder Keepers, Chaos Paddlers, Ribbendale Coins, Hoosier Hillbilly Hee Haw, Pittsburgh Coin Hunting, B3 Relic Recovery, Iffy Signals, uh, Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team, of course, and John Wolf, Madison, Maine, Stephen Pettenkin, uh, sorry, P Pettenkin, and uh, You're Digging at Metal Detecting, Amonish to Metal, Adventures in Dirt. Hold on, I gotta turn a page. There's a, some more donators there. We got Messy Hole, CT Relic Digger again, Thor's Treasure, and Part Time Detector. I'm sure there'll be a few more. And like I said, if you wanted to donate something, just send me pictures of it and let me know what it is. Start and bid at main24comcast.net. All right, thanks and have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey, everyone. Welcome to my channel, MA Lyman 24. Thank you for stopping by. This is about J3B's auction. If you watch this video right here, items for J3B's live auction on Saturday, I'll show you the first 19 items that are going to be on the block for sale. I'm going to be putting up the, uh, showing you a video in a second for, with the other 12 items to show you what's going on. But also, if you want to do a uh, cash donation, right up here on my channel art, on my page, all the way to the right, there's a button right there called Donations for Giveaways. There's also a Donations button for my uh, auction and fundraisers as well. Click that button, it'll take you right to the PayPal Pay Me account on my uh, PayPal account and put in the note of your donation that is for J3B fundraiser and uh, anybody that donates at least $5, I'm going to put their name in a hat as well as the people that donated items and I'm going to be giving away something special. I'll show you what that is in one second. All right, hold on. Or you can go to paypal.com directly yourself and uh, please send through friends and family. Alrighty folks, here it is. Anyone that makes at least a $5 cash donation for J3B's fundraiser, send it to my PayPal account and leave in a note your name, email address, and uh, tell me it's for J3B's auction. And I'll put your name in a hat for the Stealth Diggers items here. The Not Thursday sticker, the new Stealth Diggers Live Free or Die sticker, a token that Charlie sent me, Stealth Diggers token, Live Free or Die. On the back, you got your Stay Young, Always Keep Them Guessing, Live Free or Die. As well as the mini Stealth Diggers tool. Uh, Charlie sent it to me. I'm, I don't know, I'm just going to put it up for the auction there, here, for the fundraiser. And then, like I said, anyone who donates an item or at least $5 cash, their name will go in the hat. And I'll pick it at, at the end of the uh, live stream live and we'll find out who the winner is going to be. Alrighty, good luck everyone. And thanks. Hold on, I'll show you these items that are going to be still on the block. 12 more. Check these out. They're awesome. Real quick, if you want to donate an item, send me pictures of it. Just hang on to it and you can ship it to the winning bidder. Or send me pictures of it to malyman 24 comcastnet Tell me what it is, what your starting bid would like to be. And uh, we'll put it on the block. I, I'll give you the lot number. Or if you're sending a PayPal uh, donation cash, you go to paypal.com, send it to friends and family, to malyman 24 comcastnet that's my PayPal account, and leave a note telling me it's for the auction, and I'll uh, put your name in the drawing of these wonderful items here. Stall digger tool, stickers, tokens. All right, I got two boxes yesterday. Oh, actually, I want to show you this real quick. This is from Steve uh, Pet, uh, Pettigan. Uh, he sent it to me. Beautiful green. I love it. It's a 1921 one penny. Awesome shape he dug this. I love, love having it in my collection. Thanks, Stephen. Thing is beautiful. King George V, I believe it was. And then uh, I went through the first box of coin uh, coin rolls that I got yesterday. And this one looks like a proof. Look at the shine on that thing. And if, does that not say S? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it does say S. It's got little scratches on it. I don't know. But man, that's a beautiful coin. Got an 81 S2, but I don't know if that's a proof. Yeah, 
a few NIFCs and stuff. All right. Well, hey, let me show you this real quick. I just opened up the second box because I needed to get a roll done. So I put it in my first box to take back today. <clears throat> I just opened it. I really can't tell what the other one is, but I saw this one down here. I think that's a goldie, one of those gold color ones. Let me take a video with the light on, flash. All right, there it is. That one looks like one of those gold plated ones. So what I'm going to do is, the first person that sends me a $10 donation for tonight's, my live stream tonight, for my giveaway, and then coin roll hunting afterwards, first $10 donation that comes into my email, I will, uh, they will get that roll, and I will send them that gold colored coin. Alrighty. I don't know what's on the other side of it. I didn't turn any of these over yet. I'm not gonna. But yeah, we'll do it that way. All right, good luck, everyone. Thanks. If you want in on these uh, coin rolls, just do the same thing through PayPal. It's one dollar per roll. I'll let you pick the rolls out. If you, pay, if you get ten rolls, I'll throw in the eleventh one for free. And like I said, the first ten dollar donation that comes in, we'll get this one right here. Woo Alrighty, I'll see you later. Here are those items for the auction. Check them out. Alrighty, folks, up here is lot number 20 from Iffy Signals. It is an 1849 large scent. It's got a little damage on it, but it's in beautiful shape. It also comes with a uh, Garrett pouch, brand new. Thank you there, Mikey, from Iffy Signals. And we were out digging, and, we, and Mikey found a uh, quarter last weekend, silver quarter, 1953 Washington. He's going to be putting into this lot as well. So quick bid on this. Uh, we all went out last Saturday, met up with seven people, and Mikey found this. Congrats, Iffy Signals. Lot number 21 is from Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team. It's a chip away logo, beautiful knife. It is about a foot long, it looks like. <clears throat> I know he's, I think he said it was over a $300 value. And he's only starting this at $25, folks. So make sure you get in on this. Beautiful handle, gold trim. Gotta love it. Lot number 22 is from John Wolf. It's a 22 gram silver coin with case. I'm not even going to try and pronounce what it is. <clears throat> but you can see it here in the pictures, folks. Lovely silver coin. Make sure you get on early in this. And please, don't wait to bid. If you buffer, you might miss out. So bid, bid quick and bid often. All right, lot number 23 is up from Madison, Maine. It's a one ounce hand poured silver bar from Pit Bullion. It is 24K gold gilded. It's a one ounce silver bar, gold gilded. Bid on this, folks. I know I will be. I just love this thing. Always wanted something from Pit Bullion, and now's my chance. So bid a lot and bid often, folks. Here we go. Lot number 24. Hey, I like that number. This is from Stephen Pettigan. It is a Roman coin, 330 AD, dug by himself. So if you want something that Stephen has dug, folks, now is your chance. It's a beautiful 300 AD coin. That's over 1,700 years old. Imagine that. Lot number 25 is up and grab from your digging at Metal Detecting Brian. Folks, these are replicated half or these are replicated coins in this case right here. This is a replicated coin, 1804. And I think the next two in this case are replicated as well. Just wanted to point that out. These are not real. These are replicas. But they are beautiful. But don't worry. He did include some silver coins with his giveaway on this thing. Also a t-shirt and some stickers. So make sure you bid on this lot from Brian. You're digging it. Metal Detect in. The starting bid is only going to be $20 for these uh, replica coins. These silver coins. You see them here. And a t-shirt and stickers. And a pouch, folks. So please bid on this. Starting bid is only $20. You got some beautiful pieces there. Don't miss out. Bid quick. Bid often. Don't wait in case you buffer. All right. Lot number 26 is from Stan. Amonish the Metal. It is a box of buttons that Stan dug himself. And I had the pleasure in the third row and the third column, the button you see there. I was with Stan when he dug that and he let me extract it. So these are buttons dug by a monster metal and a great donation by Stan. Thank you, Stan. The starting bid on this is only going to be $20, folks. So bid quick. Lot number 27 is from DK, Adventures in Dirt. 
is a bounty hunter tracker for metal detector folks now's your chance he's only starting the bidding at sixty dollars you want a metal detector it's now's your chance Just bid on it lower 48 states only folks lower 48 states only all right here we go lot number 28 is from messy hole it is a Garrett Ace 350 metal detector. Also only ships to the lower 48 states, folks. Sorry, but uh, lower 48 only. It's a Garrett Ace 350 with rain cover and everything. Bid on this one, folks. Starting bid, $200. Alrighty, next one is up from CT Relic Digger, lot number 29. It is a flint blade knife dug by his dad. <clears throat> I believe it's four inches long. Beautiful. i never seen anything like this. Would love to have it for my collection. Look at that thing, just gorgeous. One amazing piece there, folks. One amazing piece of history for sure. So bid on this, starting bid is $50. So bid often, folks, and bid early. Next is up lot number 30 from Thor's Treasure. I have one of these bad boys. It's a Thor's Treasure Spoon. I have it here with me now, and it's starting bid is only $5, folks. So get on early on this one. A Thor's Treasure Spoon. Next is up from part-time detector Amy. It is another 300 AD coin. I think it's just like Stephen Pettigan's. It's, uh, it comes with this nice booklet. And the starting bid is only $10, folks. So please don't miss out on this one. It is one gorgeous piece. And thank you, Amy, for your kind donation. It's much appreciated. It comes with uh, the booklet, the certificate, everything here, folks. One amazing piece. Great to have for your collection. So get in there. And bid soon. Alrighty, the next is from SJ's Mix Adventures, lot number 32. It is a ham poured silver round by SJ herself. She made this. I think she did some toning on it as well. One beautiful piece is number one of I think 15 that she's going to make, folks. And it gives you the ounces right there. Start and bid. I'll have to look on this. I'm not sure. Alright, folks, stay tuned and uh, hope to see you at the auction. Thank you all of my wonderful subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you.